Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to bring you this new video this week. In the last one, I showed you how to connect your Axe Effects to your interface via both Analog and Spitif, and what I think the best setup and workflow is. And today, I'm going to expand on that and show you why and how you would want to use that exact setup to reamp. Okay, so to reiterate from the previous video, this is how to connect your Axe Effects in what I believe is the most efficient way, getting both your process signal via analog and getting the direct input via SPDIF that we will now use to reamp without a reamp box. Watch the previous video for a full breakdown. First, to record your processed and dry signals, set up your routing and your interface. I chose inputs 7 and 8 and already set my levers so they are exactly the same. I have my SPDIF input for the DI and it's muted here. I chose output 11 which is only available through software playback on the 18i20. This goes out my SPDIF output 1. You only need a mono signal to reamp. Then set up your IO and your DAW. I'm using Studio 1.4. You can see I set up a mono track for input 7 and 8, the left and right sides of my process signal, as well as a stereo track if I need it. And I set up my mono DI track with input 9. That's the 18i20 SPDIF input 1. It should tell you, but you can always just Google it. The 18i20 only has 8 analog inputs, so 9 and on are just digital inputs. And this is how I set up my outputs. I have stereo outs for my mains, headphones, and a mono out for the reamping set to output 11, which is what I have my SPDIF output set to, remember? Then in your DAW, just set up your tracks. I have my guitar tracks going into a guitar bus that goes to my mix down, and I have my DI tracks going to a DI bus that goes to my reamp output. To reamp, just set your main input source on your Axe Effects to SPDIF, and in your DAW, solo the DI track or just make sure that it's the only signal going out to your Axe Effects. Do not try to reamp more than one DI at a time. That should go without saying. So here I have a DI track and an amp track. They say left guitar because normally I double track my rhythm guitars, but for right now I'll just pan it down the center. I duplicated the DI track and we're going to reamp it. See, even though the DI signal looks weak, that's what you want to reamp. The signal from a guitar is pretty quiet. Remember this is the DI straight from the input, which is perfect for reamping. And as you can see and hear, the reamped track is almost completely identical to the process signal that we recorded before. So let's double track that, reamp the second playthrough again, and hear it in the context of a mix. Alright, so as you saw, if you use this setup, it can be really simple to record and to reamp in a fast and efficient manner, saving you time without sacrificing quality. Now, I normally like to commit to a tone at the tracking stage, so I rarely reamp, and for those of you who reamp a lot, I recommend getting a reamp box still, but for those of you who want to do it all with just your Axe Facts, then this is the way to do it. I hope this video has been able to help at least a few people, so if you're one of them, drop a comment and a like, and please hit subscribe so I can continue making videos like this. I want to pursue my passion and help others pursue theirs. 
You've been awesome. Thanks for watching. And please hit subscribe so I can continue making videos like... <clears throat>